This is a demo of one way to use the Federal Poverty Level API from the Code for America public GitHub repository. My name is Jenny, and I'm a solutions architect. The problem we're trying to solve here is today, if I want to know if I'm eligible for any reduced cost health coverage, I have to understand how to calculate FPL, Federal Poverty Level, based on my income and household size and then find the right government web page to look up my eligibility based on the calculated FPL. And this changes on an annual basis due to inflation and the consumer price index. And if I have any questions or need additional help, it's not straightforward to get the help I need or even know where to find someone to talk to. And if I'm someone who comes from an underprivileged background with limited resources, this is definitely a daunting process to navigate. In solving this problem, we want to be mindful of common design and idea patterns in civic tech to ensure we're making the biggest impact with limited resources. We want to go to the people, engage with them in the places they already go with human-centered technology. We want to make it mobile, take information in a closed format, and make it available to people when and where they need it relevance. We want to make sure our solution is doing something that matters to people in need. Finally, bridging tech capacity. This might be something that is not necessarily complicated, and maybe the service provider or the government already has tech capacity to do 90% of the process, but just doesn't have the time or skill to bridge the final gap. We want our solution to meet these needs. Now, the solution Using the FPL API, along with a simple Tulio integration to create an IVR, interactive voice response setup, I'm able to give the public access to check whether they meet criteria for certain health coverage based on their income and family size, just by calling a Code for America hotline and answering two simple questions. The simple Tulio flow I've set up will call CFA's API to do the calculations, and then it'll use the response from the API call as input to check healthcare.gov for eligibility criteria. It'll then return the info to the caller and connect their call directly to the government's 1-800 number should they need additional help. Now let's watch a quick demo. Hello, thanks for calling to check your health coverage based on income. We just need to ask you two questions. How many people are in your family? You can press or say the number. How much income do you make a month? Please press the number on your phone. Your income is below 138% federal poverty level. If your state has expanded Medicaid coverage, you qualify for Medicaid based only on your income. Would you like to talk to somebody for additional help? Press 1 for yes. Press 2 for no. to the health insurance marketplace. Para Español, oprima el ocho ahora. So that's the demo, and this is how this works on the back end. This is Code for America's FPL API that I've used from CFA's GitHub page, all publicly accessible. And here's the documentation on the API, the query parameter parameters, how to make the API call, what response to expect. On the Twilio side of things, I've created a simple flow and connected the flow to a phone number, which I've designated to be the CFA hotline for the purpose of this demo. When a call is received and those two questions are asked and answered, this flow will make the API call through this HTTP request widget in the flow, passing in family size and income as parameters. And there's a little bit of exception handling here just in case the API call fails. 
And when it gets the response back, it will use this function here to check the health coverage criteria, which is pulled from healthcare.gov. Now this part is currently just hard coded. Of course, best practice would be to dynamically pull from this website. But for the purpose of this demo, I just wanted to showcase CFA's API and the Twilio integration. This simple integration allows us to make information more accessible to the public without them needing to search around for the white, right web page to get the right info they need. And for those with disability or visual impairment, they can just make a call to a hotline to get help without needing to read a bunch of text on a website. In terms of going to the people that we talked about earlier, CFA has the Get CalFresh program where it's already working with a large number of clients in need of food stamps. This is likely a group who may also need discounted health coverage. When following up with Get CalFresh clients, we can proactively provide this health coverage hotline as a resource to them. This is a way to go to the people where they already are. We can also easily adapt or expand this project to have chatbot or text messaging capabilities. So there are a lot of possibilities here. Finally, the CFA GitHub repository has many more publicly accessible code base and projects. Some of them are accepting contributions from volunteers passionate about using human-centered technology to help those in need in our community. This video shows just one example of what you can do with this tremendous resource. Thanks for watching.